you gotta talk about value. I say that traditional investments are backed by an income producing company with a tangible product or service that posts revenue and profits for its investors. Okay, okay. Income producing, I can easily say that the income, okay, this is, this is not exactly the same thing, but there are income producing methods that you can use in DeFi one, okay? Yeah, with Bitcoin, you could take Bitcoin and have, I, not, I get what he's saying, the actual Bitcoin itself doesn't have income producing, right? I understand that part. Let me just go back to see exactly what he said so I can clarify, let me see. By an income producing company with okay. a tangible product. Tangible project product is a monetary hedge against inflation and a better form of money being able to uh, transfer or send it anywhere, right? Their service that posts revenue and profits. The revenue and profits can be also compared to like, for example, the network effects of, you know, I don't know, hypothetically looking at the blockchain explorer, you could easily see uh, a lot of the fundamentals can come from that, for example, like, a, for I don't know, transaction volume or the amount of wallets created or whatever the case is. The way I see it is that there's no specific reason why it's trading at $40,000 instead of $20,000. I could say that there's more people adopting. What's the specific reason why, you know, gold is trading at its price? Because more people want it. It's just a different form of value. It doesn't mean that it's valueless. It's just a different form of value. More people buy it. The more rare it becomes, the higher the value increases. Dollars or instead of sixty thousand dollars, it just is. Now the counter. It's not just is. It's just it's because more people have the coin. I don't know. I, I don't know if he's oversimplifying it, um, but it comes from the network effects. If you look at Amazon, for example, they posted negative revenue. They they posted losses for ten years. For ten years. But the network effects that they created was valuable. So in that case, people could say that Amazon was overvalued. It's overvalued, right? But people still invest in it. Why? If they're you know posting losses for a long period of time, they're posting losses. Amazon, look into this. I don't know if you've read the Everything Store, right? Why was it valuable? Because of the users, because of the adoption, because of the network effects. That is value. Just because there's not revenue does not mean that the business is not valuable that other people have made is that there is value in the network effect of Bitcoin and that the more people okay. use it, the more trust is built and the more- There you go, so he, he got it. More likely you are to get the price that you ask. There's also value in supply and demand as more people demand an alternative asset to their money. Okay, he's basically answering what I just said. So he got it, he definitely understands, he's getting it. Institutional belief of the concept and that's something worth paying attention to. As Tom Heavey pointed out, MicroStrategy has bought $1 billion worth of Bitcoin recently. Grayscale's Bitcoin investment fund raised over $3 billion last quarter. And data has shown that large institutional investors are driving a lot of the demand. Now the argument against this is that maybe some of those institutional investors are more like speculators who don't really care about Bitcoin at all and they just want to make as much money as possible in as little time as possible. And still, none of the 10 largest asset managers have bought Bitcoin yet. However, I don't doubt the bigger... I mean, you can't say that... I mean, you don't know. They, they just didn't publicly say they bought Bitcoin, but they could have already bought Bitcoin a long time ago. Players are getting in the game and that's worth addressing. We could agree to disagree when... And I also say, if you notice the trend of people buying Bitcoin, they're medium-sized institutions. So the reason why bigger, like really big, mega big institutions, like the biggest ones that you just claimed, the reason why they're not buying Bitcoin yet is because of slippage. The market is yet not big enough to buy, like it's, what are they, like people were comparing Bitcoin's uh, market cap to like Amazon and Apple, right? It, Imagine if they got into Bitcoin, right? They don't have a, a they, they won't, they don't like playing around with small money. They want a meaningful investment. So it's way too big for them. Essentially how it works is, you know, in 2017, there was kind of small institutions and hedge funds uh, that got into Bitcoin. Now it's the medium size and the medium size are, are paving the path for large institutions in the future. And this is why the large institutions aren't publicly talking about it, but I'm sure they got some Bitcoin on their balance sheet somewhere. Maybe it's not, you know, public, but it's definitely, <laughs> I will say they have small amounts. Well, I, I can't say, but I'm pretty confident. I'm confident guys. I'm confident. When it comes to analyzing the true value and worth of Bitcoin, because I'm sure most of that is going to be subjective depending on what metrics you want to use. There's also the argument that the more Bitcoin grows, the less risky and volatile it's going to become. I will counter argue that uh, by saying, look at you know the S&P 500. The reason why the S&P 500 is so 
uh, you know, safe and it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't have any volatility is because the amount of capital, it's much harder to move something big. It's common sense that the more money that comes into a market, the less volatile it becomes. Nobody ever can argue. I don't care if it's a billionaire. We can have that conversation, billionaire, and I will be right or maybe wrong. I don't know. I'm just joking with you guys, but it's, it's pretty much Everybody kind of knows this. I don't know why anybody's arguing against it. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. If you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.